How's it going everybody? Sage the Collector back with a special pickups video. As you can see there is a definite theme to this one and that theme is Michael Jordan. Uh, one of my buddies who goes to garage sales let me know that he came across this lot of Jordans and I said buy them. <laughs> I am interested. And that is definitely a rule. If you are a collector let everyone know, friends, family, that you collect cards and if they ever see cards let you know because it does pay off. So there are over 200 Jordans here. Most of them, nothing exciting. There's a few decent ones, but for the amount I paid, I mean, ugh, I will take this all day long. So as you can see in the back, we have the two, couple of those upper deck lockers. Um, a lot of these Jordans came out of those lockers, but not these specifically. There are a lot more Jordans that came out of these lockers then <laughs> I don't know what happened to the other lockers is what I'm trying to say. So let's just get into it because there are a lot of them. And usually I'll take the cards out of top loaders to reduce the shine like this. But 200 Jordans, I'm not going to do that. And a lot of these are probably pretty scratched up. But starting off with a couple classics. Got your 89 hoops. Got your 90s skybox. Uh, is this 90 hoops? maybe 90 hoops I want to say and then you got your goofy blue 91 Fleer lead leaders 91 skybox for sure and then we got some hoops it's, I don't know <laughs> it's kind of weird he's barely in the card got a Chicago Bulls team card got this Jordan Supreme Court, the fan's choice. I actually don't recognize this card, so it's clearly an insert. So Supreme Court, I might have one of these, but if I do, I only probably have one of them. So I got one of these league leaders, and I got another team card. Still in the hoops. So, I mean, just tons of doubles and triples, but it's Jordan. I, I'm not going to complain. So you got All-Star Jordan. And this is one of the fifth anniversary versions of this. Love these Jordan throwback with the gold chain. Oh, look at baby Jordan with the hair. With the hair. Team USA. And we got another Supreme Court, Michael Jordan. And now we are getting into the he's back cards. So these are identical to the original cards, but they were printed in a preceding year. So they just basically reprinted a bunch of cards, except you got this gold stamp that says he's back. So 92, 93 upper deck, and that's when these lockers came out. There are so many Jordans, you don't know <laughs> where they came from. Upper deck was just, I mean, churning out the Jordans in the early 90s. Then we got this weird set. We got a slam dunk, <laughs> and these cards are kind of, they're just super thin and flimsy. And the photography on these are terrible. I don't know what these are. Best of the best. Those little <laughs> Jordan stats. I mean, the, the, the photography is so dark. So, I, I don't know what these best of the best are, but... Uh, Jordan, Highland Park, Illinois. I used to drive by his house all the time. I just did, actually, a couple months ago. So, you can see, like, the photography on these... It's, is just awful but still pretty funny I mean that's a pretty cool card we'll see what uh, he's got some of his stats on the back but I mean like like this you, if I don't know if you can see but like whoever photoshopped this just did a terrible job you can still see the white outlines and he, I don't know anyway just a really weird set I didn't really do much research on that, but it's just one of those funny things to have, you know? All right, so second stack, also 
Collector's Choice. There were a bunch of Collector's Choice cards. You got the... I think these might all be from the same Collector's Choice set. Because, like, they're numbered 187 and they go all the way up in the 500s. So you got all these Catch-23 cards. And they're cool cards. I mean, it's good. They're good photography. I mean, it's... It's Jordan. Come on. So yeah, four of those. And then got a bunch of these. I don't know why. So I mean these are not valuable Jordans per se, but like I said, for the amount I paid for them, I am certainly not gonna complain because I probably paid less than a dollar for all these each, you know, and it's like some of them are maybe probably not even worth a dollar, but I would argue that might not be possible if you're selling them as singles. I mean, who's not going to pay a dollar for a Jordan? So now we're back to the 92, 93 upper deck. Now these, this is where I think we start getting into the locker cards. So every locker had five of these Fanimation cards, and these are pretty cool. Very unique. Some people don't like them. I dig them. And the weird part is at some point I'll... Maybe it's these. So you got these Agent 23 cards. And then I think this is it. Yeah. There's an Italian version of it. So it has a different... It's Italian 86 versus the North American 506. So... I don't know, just something cool. And then uh, these, I think also, I think all of these came out. Yeah, this definitely came out of these lockers. So if you ever see this card, it came out of a locker. Same with this. And I, these might exist outside of the locker, but all of those definitely came out of those. So now we got, there's the he's back version. So this was printed later on. So maybe this does exist in the real set. Or they just printed it. Now here, <laughs> these have an error version, if somebody doesn't know. Um, you look for the dates up here, and again, yeah, see, with the top loader, it's hard to see, but it says 87, 88, which is what it's supposed to say. There's a version that says, I think, 85, 90? That is an error card and is worth more. So all of these are the regular versions, unfortunately. I do have a couple of the error cards, but... Game Faces. Got this cool illustration card. Um, I don't know what it is. Anyway, pause and read it if you want. And I dig this card, too. A little black and white. Um, these... I can't remember where these came from. I don't... I think these came from the locker. I don't know, but either way, one of these is um, the American version. I think that's the European version. So they're just different cards. This is the McDonald's card. If you get, the, if you see the CH4, this one came out of the McDonald's packs, and then you can see this was also a McDonald's. Oh, well, I don't know if I... There we go. And this is another one of those sets. So you can see the gold Jordan auto stamp there. Again, cool photography. Jordan's man, he's got so many sets back in the day. Back to the collector's choice. I love this card. And then, I don't remember what these are, but JC, so Jordan Collection. So you got a few of these Jordan Collection with the, with the gold stamp. And this one with a giant stamp. And we have some Jordan baseball cards. <laughs> so got his upper deck rookie. Throwback 91, uh, what, 91 design. That's pretty cool.
Actually, no, this might have come out in 91. I don't know what this is, actually. Never mind. I should know what this is. Anyway, <laughs> you got the Jordan Birmingham Barons card. Top prospects, you got Jordan talking to Harry Carey. And then you got the Johnny Kilroy card. <laughs> if anyone doesn't know uh, Johnny Kilroy, go onto YouTube and there's there's a video of, of all the commercials from the early 90s where you can... Mid-90s? Probably 94, 95? When was this? Yeah, 94. So, somebody's got all the Nike commercials where <laughs> Jordan's got a bunch of mustaches and and funky wigs. It's pretty funny. So, check out the, com the Nike commercials with the Johnny Kilroy. And then, I don't know what this is. It's something October. And we got more baseball. I don't know what this card is, but you can't really tell in the top loader, but this card is really totally fake looking. So you have these fun city cards and they just have this weird blurry waxy look to them and the photography is not great. So these are not high quality cards, but whoever fun city is, <laughs> they made some, some cheap bootleg knockoff cards. And then here are a couple of the first cards out of the rare air set this is like a hundred card set or something so only these cards i think are in this lot i don't know what happened to the rest of them and you got this dominique card tells you when he got his twenty thousandth point and jordan is on the back and it's stamped when he got his twenty thousandth point they both got it in the saving same year which is cool and you got more of these jordan gold stamps and these now are getting into some interesting ones. So, got a checklist. I mean, look at that. That's a checklist card. And that's <laughs> that's pretty sweet for a checklist card. You got an SP Jordan. Got some old uh, NBA Finals hoops. I think this is the actual 93-94 <laughs> upper deck from the regular set. You got Skylights. Four of them. And then Jordan, 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 yeah, yeah. Hang Time. Season Leaders. Scoring. And then I'd never seen this card before. So I don't know why. I mean, it's a... It's an insert, I guess. That's probably why, but kind of cool. Then you got your uh, regular 93-94 Skybox. And then Dynamic Dunks. I did not have this in the collection yet, I don't think. So that's cool. You got Drexler versus Jordan. <laughs> Love it. Dr. Basketball's World of Trivia. There you go. There's your there's your Jordan trivia. And then here is a collector's choice sticker. And the crazy thing is these are full sized stickers. Usually the stickers are like small, but you know, got a full size sticker, which is pretty cool. And yeah, more collector's choice. And then this is like a whole stack of the checklist cards, which had Jordan on them. And then you had a whole bunch of these bullseye MJ and it gave you certain certain criteria and if Jordan met those criteria you collected these cards and you could send them in and get a 13 card Michael Jordan blow up set I have not looked up to see what that blow up set looks like but I'm guessing it's pretty cool and we got some defining moments. I love this in this with the Sears backdrop. And we got some tops cards, 93, 94, I think. You can see the difference. You got one regular and one gold. Highlight, all-star. And then you got a tops gold of the tops reigning playoff MVP. Got some more uh, Jordan USA cards. All right, now we got some more He's Back cards. So those are just identical except for the stamp. And 
This is where we start. We got a few more. He's back. Oh, Dr. Basketball's world trivia. You got an SP. I got another SP. Yeah, I don't I didn't have this card either, which is a pretty cool card. You got this slam dunk team. You got a beam team. One of these beam team, I don't even know what you'd call them. It's got Jordan on it, so technically a Jordan. Got some uh, classic Fleer Ultras. All right, now we get into some decent st decent stuff by this standard. Nothing, no heavy hitters, but cool cards. Got the inside out. You got the 93-94 Living Legends card. Got a Jordan Sharpshooter. Oh boy, look at that top loader. Mm, seen better days. Got a, uh, what is this, 95 Fleer Metal. Got another 95 Fleer Metal. Stackhouse's scrapbook back when Stackhouse was a huge deal. He had a decent career, but man, he was he was a he was the it guy back then. Got a 96-97 metalized Jordan. Got a Member's Choice Stadium Club, Jordan Skybox Z Force. Got an E Motion card. I didn't have this either. I had never really heard of E Motion because this was back when I was not collecting. I was not collecting in nine in the early, mid to late nineties. So sometimes I see these cards and it's the first time I've ever seen them. And then you got this Upper Deck card which has a protective film on it. And I, I kind of want to take it off, but I kind of don't, so it looks really dull, but <laughs> it uh, it's a cool die cut. It's hard to see in the top loader, though. Then we got this Championship Series Jordan die cut, and unfortunately, it's it's got some, it's got some issues, but again, Jordan, not going to complain. And I forgot what these are called. This is another set I'd never heard of until I saw this card. And there's actually gold versions of these. Then we have a couple Mr. June Jordans. And anyone who watches the channel and has seen me do my Jordan hunting, you've seen me pull, I think, this exact Mr. June. So these were in random packs. I think they were 1 in 36 packs, maybe? So if you bought a box of these back in the day, you were most likely guaranteed one of these. And we got this really cool Jordan Full Court out of 96 Ultra. In the, in the proper lighting, this is a much cooler card. And unfortunately, it's got some issues on the bottom. Otherwise, that would be pretty cool. They got this sweet All-Star SP die cut. Very cool. And we got a Jordan the Expressionists out of Topps Gallery. 96. We got Jordan Rain Men out of Stadium Club. And then we got this cool behind the glass Jordan. Again, in the proper lighting, this is much cooler. Like without the top loader reflecting all the cool light, that is a very red card. Very cool card. So, the only other two cards I have, and this actually came from a different lot, but again, I let a family member know I collect cards, and they found this, which is a huge upper deck Jordan box topper. It's pretty sweet. It's got some edge issues up here, but, I mean... Come on. Look how huge this thing is. This thing is so cool. This is a very cool display piece. That'll go... If I ever can clear off a shelf enough to display cards, this is definitely going on it. And last but not least, the big dog that came out of this Jordan collection. Ho! Oh, I'm just kidding. It's a fake. <laughs> but look at this. Look at this screw down it's in, man. Look at that fake. And you can always tell. There are numerous ways you can tell a fake, but the clear indication is that little that little arrow. If you zoom in and my camera won't focus that 
but that should be orange and have little red dots in it to make it look orange. This does not, which is one of the clear indications that it's a fake. Plus, this penny sleeve looks pretty new, so. Anyway, it's still kind of cool to have, and if I ever get uh, broken into, I can use this as a blunt object to deter robbers. This thing is heavy. So, I, I mean, again, moral of the story is, not, not really a story, but let everyone you know know that you collect cards, and if they ever see cards, to let you know, because they may say, hey, I just found a huge Jordan lot, are you interested? And you get cool stuff like this. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what your favorite cards were in this Jordan lot. I would probably say it's behind the glass and then that, uh, I mean, the metalized Jordan's pretty cool. And then I lost it. Whatever, that, that blue one. Anyway, we'll end on these three. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will catch you next time for probably a basketball break.